everybody, welcome to the middle of nowhere. We sure have seen a lot of tech releases over the last couple months. On Team Green, NVIDIA announced and released their RTX 3000 series of GPUs. And on Team Red, AMD announced and released their Zen 3 CPUs. And coming up, they'll be releasing their RX 6000 series of GPUs. Top it all off with the console releases of the Xbox Series X and PS5, and it's safe to say it's been a great time for tech enthusiasts. Unfortunately, this Technopalooza has a nasty stain on it. All of these new releases have been selling out in seconds, making it very difficult for anyone to get their hands on a new NVIDIA GPU, AMD Zen 3 CPU, or even the new consoles. I myself am still looking for a 5950X and an Asus Strix RTX 3090. Fortunately, I was able to buy an NVIDIA RTX 3070 Founders Edition and an MSI RTX 3070 Gaming X Trio on launch day. As not all 3070s are created equal, let's go ahead and unbox these two GPUs and see what they have to offer. First up, we're gonna go ahead and unbox the Founders Edition. I was able to buy this from Best Buy. Again, got both these cards on launch day, so I know it's been a little while. But I had to wait longer for the Nvidia card, or the Newegg card, excuse me. So that's the Founders Edition. It's a very small, nondescript box. This just doesn't want to come out. Yeah. There we go. Oh, nice. It's kind of a gunmetal gray GPU. Fans are on both uh, one side as opposed to the 3080 and 3090 where it's one fan on one side and one on the other. Seems metal for a backplate. Heard that it might be plastic, so I don't know. From reviews. Again, that pass through ventilation, which means PCB stops right around here. You're still stuck with NVIDIA's new proprietary 12 um, pin connector, support guide, quick start guide, and the adapter. And that's it. I wish this was longer. Lots of good foam padding, or bubble wrap rather. Another HelloFresh. <laughs> so here's the Gaming X Trio. It's a much bigger box. It's in shrink wrap. Definitely does a better job showing off the features. So if you get to go to a brick and mortar shop like Micro Center, or should Best Buy actually have these, then you'll be able to kind of do a bit better comparison shopping, I would say. Okay, first thing you open up, you get a big old envelope. We have our how to upgrade your PC with your new graphics card. A little comic, cute. Okay, that's kind of that's 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 nice. That's cute. Uh, graphics port bracket for the installation guide. That's one thing that come, the MSI card comes with is a, is a support bracket, which is cool. Uh, looks like pro, uh, other products by MSI. Registration card. And then also uh, a quick user's guide with installation guide QR codes. Support bracket, so it's clearly oh, it's metal. Just plug into your PCI slots. Looks like a rubber dampener or two or shock absorber rather, possibly go on here. Okay, so you have one already installed. These look like additional ones then that you would stick on the bracket should you need it. Urgh. Oh, good lord. This is a big boy. Wow, okay. Look at that. That's huge compared. I like how, um, so it's three fans obviously, but I like how two blades at a time are connected. So there's like this little uh, connector for the fan so the blades aren't all independent. Exposed PCB on the back. Again, some air pass through. Um, ooh. I don't, this is not metal, I don't think. This feels plastic. So I don't know how, how or if that even helps with heat dissipation. 
I wish the sticker was on the back though, because if you're gonna have that exposed, you don't necessarily want that there. And looks like we have some RGB elements here as well. It's a definitely a beefy card. So just for size comparison with the 3070 on top. And for even more reference, here is a GTX 1080 cooler because that's what I have in my personal system. So the RTX 3070 is a bit smaller than the GTX 1080, um, tad bit wider maybe, but definitely shorter. And then the MSI card is a behemoth. <laughs> and we'll go over dimensions on these two cards as well in a bit. So yeah, so that's the unboxing. So the Founders Edition, you get the adapter for the 12 pin. Oh yeah, I don't think I kind of glossed over that. Two eight pins, uh, connectors. And then the 3070 from MSI, you at least get a nice little GPU bracket to help with clearly what is what is a massive card. Wow. The NVIDIA RTX 3070 Founders Edition and MSI RTX 3070 Gaming X Trio share many of the same technical specifications. Both GPUs have 5,888 CUDA cores, a GPU base clock speed of 1.5 gigahertz, eight gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, and a memory speed of 14 gigabits per second on a 256-bit wide bus. As with the RTX 3080 and 3090, the RTX 3070 is also a PCIe 4.0 part. Both the FE and Gaming X Trio have the same display inputs as well, featuring one HDMI 2.1 port and three 1.4A display ports. That's what the two GPUs have in common. Here's where they differ. The MSI Gaming X Trio has a 100 megahertz faster boost clock out of the box at 1.83 gigahertz. Additionally, MSI's GPU has a 240 watt power limit, which is 20 watts higher than the Nvidia Founders Edition. This is great for overclockers as you'll have more headroom when pushing those higher speeds. Finally, the most noticeable difference between the Nvidia and MSI RTX 3070 GPUs is the size. The NVIDIA card comes in at 242 millimeters in length and is 112 millimeters wide. It's also described as a two slot GPU. The MSI RTX 3070 Gaming X Trio, however, is 323 millimeters in length, 140 millimeters wide. And while it's described as a two slot GPU as well, don't be fooled. It's a thick boy coming in at 56 millimeters. And also with the shroud sticking up more, it's probably closer to a two and a half slot card than it is a two slot card. If you do end up buying the MSI Gaming X Trio over the NVIDIA Founders Edition card, do keep in mind these dimensions, especially if you have a smaller case. For instance, the Gaming X Trio definitely will not fit in the standard Lian Li PCO11 dynamic if you're water cooling and have a reservoir in the case itself, as opposed to installing a distribution block on the side panel. From a physical standpoint, it's easy to see how the two GPUs differ. NVIDIA's RTX 3070 follows the design language of its 3080 and 3090 counterparts, except both 3070 fans are on the same side. MSI's cooler has three fans, and they've also implemented RGB lighting. By contrast, the Founders Edition has no lighting at all. When it comes to temperatures, MSI's cooler performs better than NVIDIA's. According to a review by Legit Reviews, the Gaming X Trio was 1 degree Celsius cooler at idle and 6 degrees Celsius cooler at load. This improved thermal performance will help to sustain boost clock speeds and also help overclockers in their efforts as well. I'm a little surprised by this actually, considering MSI's backplate isn't made of metal and therefore not helping in dissipate any of the heat. Finally, and this may have nothing to do with the increased cost of MSI's 3070, however it could save you money in the long run, the Gaming X Trio comes with two standard 8-pin PCIe connectors as opposed to Nvidia's new 12-pin connector. If you already have a pair of custom sleeved 8-pin GPU cables, then you won't have to buy anything new should you get MSI's or really any AIB's GPU as they all use the connector we've been using for years. So which GPU should you buy? On the face of it, both these cards are nearly identical except for a few performance specifications and of course these coolers. I guess the question becomes then, are those performance tweaks and the custom cooler with RGB lighting MSI implemented worth that extra $65? After all, you could put that money towards another part in your PC build. And that's all I have to say about the two RTX 3070s I was luckily able to purchase. I really like how they look, and I think it's awesome how they perform as well, and in some cases better, than RTX 2080 Ti, and for a fraction of the cost. I can't wait to put them in future PC builds and send them off to their forever homes. Thanks for watching, everybody. Share any questions or comments you have down below. If you like what you saw, smash that like button. 
Show your support for the channel by clicking subscribe and don't forget to click the notification icon so you don't miss out on any new content. I'm Seth and I'll see you next time in the middle of nowhere. Hey everybody. Well